Well, for decades, the Gladwin Jewish Memorial Center, the cemetery in Lower Marion Township, it's been neglected. Many of the estimated 900 gravestones out there need to be restored before the names on them completely disappear. And now there are efforts underway to conserve the gravestones and preserve history. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Josh Sanders has more. So when we clean the stone, we use the gentlest means. The main thing we're trying to remove is all the biological growth. Joe Farinini is washing away decades of wear and tear on the gravestones in the Har Hasatim Cemetery in Gladwin. In this cemetery, we're over 150. I'm not, I don't have an exact count now. Farinini is a gravestone conservator. The Hebrew contains so much more information. We're not restoring, we're conserving. We're saving it as is, trying to make it last forever. And some of these names, if they lay down the ground much longer, would be totally gone. He visits the sacred ground twice a year in the spring and fall to uncover the names of an estimated 900 first generation Jewish European immigrants. The cemetery was first founded in the 1890s, its last burial in 1945. And the decades that followed, the cemetery was abandoned before the Beth David Reform congregation took ownership in 1999 along with the Friends of Gladwin Jewish Memorial Cemetery, which now fund the restoration. The essence of the project really has been for about a dozen years. The graves are in terrible disrepair. They're old. Graves mostly made of marble as opposed to granite. Neil Sukonik says the cemetery represents the storied history of the first wave of European Jews who escaped persecution and began a new life in the Mill Creek Valley. The ultimate and most important goal is to restore dignity to those who are interred here. It's that dignity that Fernini hopes to give each name he uncovers. For some graves, it could take him anywhere from hours to days and a lot of tedious work. You have to save the people as well, their memories, what they did, why they were here, the trials, tribulations. Because with each gravestone he conserves, the memories of the past are given a sanctuary for future generations. Josh Sanders, CBS News, Philadelphia.